Remember athletes, it's about consistency first, then intensity. Transformation is about changing who we are through our habits. Your path to success, it's a journey. You are unstoppable. You are an athlete. Every day that we wake up able to enjoy the day with the health that we have is a gift. You know the goal is to become 1% better every single day. Your workout is done and your results are there. Unleash that unstoppable force within you. Welcome back athletes. Today we're doing a 10 minute fat burner boot camp. And now this is a no stop workout. And this workout is also guaranteed to keep that metabolism up for up to 72 hours after this workout. Now, what that really means is that you're going to be burning more calories at rest than you normally would because the combinations that we're going to be putting together today and the cardio impact that we're going to have is going to keep that metabolic rate up so that this workout keeps working and working and working for you even up to 72 hours after you're done. All right, so here's how it's going to go down. We're going to be moving through five different exercises and then interrupting each of these exercises with a wall sit. And so all you're going to need to follow along today is just your mat. You're gonna need a medium weight pair of dumbbells and then you're gonna be close by to a wall for that wall sit. Now I'm gonna show you your first movement in just a moment and then moving forward, you're always gonna check this box above to see what is coming up next. All right, now let's get started. Our first movement today is a devil press. We're just gonna go ahead and get this one out of the way and then it'll also give me a chance for me to just go through the movements so that you're doing it correctly and efficiently. All right, now let's get into it. So a devil press is a burpee with a overhead press or a strict press. I'm gonna show you a few variations. Most important thing is to remember we're only gonna do this for 30 seconds and then also to choose maybe the modification that feels right for you today so that you can get the most out of it and don't need to stop the workout at any point to take a rest until we are done. All right, so here's how it's gonna go down. So go ahead and grab your hands, grab the handles here on your weights. You're gonna kick yourself back. You're gonna come all the way down. And then when you come up, you're gonna pop your feet flat. You're gonna bring the weights up and then drive them up overhead. Now I'm gonna show you a couple variations. So I'm gonna do this one more time. You're gonna go all the way down up and then bring the weights all the way up. Now, your other variation here is that you could come all the way down and then up, and then bring the weights up to your shoulder, and then strict press from here, just to have a little bit more control. And then of course, I welcome you to take the jump out, step it back, come back up, and then again, just move with ease and control, all right? You can always build up from here. Remember, if you allow yourself to build up, this becomes way more pleasurable, and it's not a punishment. All right, athletes, are you ready? Let's rock and roll. I'm already out of breath, and now we're gonna do this for another 30 seconds. Ready? In three, two, one, and go. All right, so 30 seconds is going to actually go by pretty fast. And so you just wanna make sure you're finding your breath, especially that we're starting off today with just a little bit of cardio, getting that heart rate up nice and early in the game, and then working on sustaining that all the way through. All right, we're gonna do just maybe one more here, and then get ready for your wall sit. All right, now go ahead, get into that wall sit. No breaks. Remember, we're gonna be adding this wall sit every other exercise for the full 10 minutes, which is a great chance to recover the breath while I'm trying to recover my breath. And then also a great opportunity to just refocus the mind for the next one. All right, get ready here. We're gonna do a goblet squat. So just grab one dumbbell in three, two, one, and break. All right. Grab one dumbbell here, heels of the hands under the dumbbell, and then just holding it in a front rack position. Push the knees out, drive the hips all the way back, keep the elbows up so that you don't fold the torso forward. Let's go for 10 more seconds and then we're gonna go right back to that wall. Get ready here. In three, two, one, all right, switch. Let's go right back to the wall. And now notice that I'm really close to the wall. So if you've got a good six or seven meters between your mat and the wall, bring your mat a bit closer. We wanna close that gap a little bit and make sure we're not losing any time in between. 
All right, that's it, keep it up. Good work. In just a moment, we're gonna go for a thruster. One of my favorites in five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, now keep that back flat as you pick up your weights. Go ahead and put them on the shoulders. Drive the knees out one more time. And then this time you're gonna press the weights up overhead as you extend. That's it, keep it up. You got this. Good job. That's it. Remember, we're gearing up here for the wall sit. That's it, you got it. Come on, stay here with me. And switch. That's it, go to the wall sit now. You got it. That's it, keep breathing. That's it, control the breath. Maybe take this opportunity to recover. And then prepare yourself for a high plank row. All right, you got it. Three, two, one. All right, let's go. So maybe grab just one dumbbell to rest your wrist and then you're just gonna bring your dumbbell to your chest with control. And now make sure that you're keeping your hips down. You wanna make sure that you're really rotating through the hips, working that core, working the obliques, and then also saving the back, not putting the back in a strenuous position. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, let's switch. Come back to your wall sit. Doing really good. How's this going for you so far? That's it. So keep breathing here. And then prepare yourself in just a moment here to get into a jackknife. That's it, let's go. Keep breathing. Getting this done in five more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, now let's try to move swiftly here. Keeping just one dumbbell, you're gonna get on your back. Grab that weight, bring the feet and the hands together. You can keep your head on the floor if you want or lift it up for just a little bit of an added challenge. You got this. Good work. That's it. Three, two, one. All right, switch. Let's go wall sit one more time. And this is gonna complete the first half of the workout and then we're gonna go ahead and get right back into our devil press. I know we thought we had let that one go, but today we're actually gonna do two full rounds together. Really keeping that heart rate up together. That's it. How are your legs feeling? Stay in control here. Stay nice and low. Try not to place your body weight onto the legs. Three, two, one. All right, now let's go ahead and switch. And let's get into our double press one more time. Let's go. All the way up. And then do your best now to keep whatever format you did the first round on the second round over here. That's it. You got it. Let's go. Maybe we could just shoot for just one more. Really quick here. All the way up. All right, good job. Now let's go for our wall sit. That's it, keep it up, keep moving. Continue to breathe here. And now let's maybe try to sink a little bit lower, get a nice 90 degree angle in the knees. 15 more seconds. Ready for our goblet squat coming up again. 10 more seconds. Keep breathing. Starting to feel really, really spicy right now. Three, two, one. All right, good job. Grab that dumbbell, knees out, elbows up, all the way down. You got this. That's it, and maybe we can just try to move a little bit faster, but still staying in control. Really making sure we're not gonna get sloppy or careless with our movements. We're gonna be super mindful of our body position. Nicely done. Five more seconds here. Three, two, one. All right, let's go for our wall sit one more time. That's it. And now, can you bring your awareness inside? Can you really at these last few minutes here, 
can you just really center yourself so that you stay more calm and not really feeling that you can't wait for this, is over, to, for this to be over or thinking about what you're gonna do next. Just really stay present with what you're doing. All right, good work. Let's go for our thrusters now. Keep the back flat, drive the knees out. Let's go. <sighs> Nicely done. <sighs> yes, that's it. I love thrusters because they're so cardio intensive and really work the full body. So there's not a single muscle that this doesn't touch, just the nature of the movement. And it's also a very functional movement as well. All right, and break. Okay, good work. Let's go. Getting ready for our high plank row. Coming up, stay present here, stay with me. Good work, that's it. Nicely done. That's it, stay in your center, remember, Stay here, don't get distracted or focusing on what else is coming up next in your life. All right, let's go ahead and switch now. High plank row, remember, we're gonna stay nice and tight here. <sighs> Rotating through the core, staying in control. Yes, that's it. You got this, almost done. That's it. Let's go for five more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, let's go wall sit. Only two more wall sits left today. Good job. So you've done a total of five minutes of wall sit at the end of this workout, and I hope you are so proud of yourself. And what's so great about doing this repeat together is that we're definitely gonna do the workout twice. So oftentimes I'll give you the first round and then get you to repeat one more time. But today doing it together really just fortifies it and makes it more accountable. All right, good work. Okay, let's go for jackknife, our final movement. Again, making sure we're gonna stay in control here of our movements. <sighs> Nicely done. That's it. Remember, option to keep the head on the floor if you're feeling any strain in the neck. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, and break. All right, let's go. Final wall sit of the day. We are crushing this. Good work, athletes. You got this. And again, now that we know that this is a fat burner, this is the type of workout that is the gift that keeps on giving and so super important that we don't just take advantage of that in a way where we're now gonna eat all the things that don't serve us and we're gonna eat more or change our habits, but instead just utilize this as an advantage and just keep consistent with all the other things you're doing. All right, and break. Good work. High five athletes, we've made it. Good job, congratulate yourself on being here and showing up for you. Check out the other workouts I have linked for you at the end of this one to complete your training today. And if you've liked it, give me a thumbs up, comment below, let me know how this went. Was this easy or was this just right on point? If you're new here, let's subscribe so we keep training together. Now, let's go refuel, rehydrate, and let's meet in the next one. You got this.